That looks like good exercise. Yeah, it actually makes your legs a lot. Maybe you should try it, Dad. <laughs> no, thank you. Welcome back, everyone. So, we're on day six. If day five, doing my personal best, has taught us anything, it's the importance of recovery. Training hard is all well and good, but it's after my performance yesterday and realizing how tired my body was, and to be honest, I could have done a lot better, but my muscles just weren't there. And it's because I've, I've gone five days straight and I haven't really given myself a rest. So I've realized that I need to train smart. If I'm going to hit this sub 20 minute, I need to train smart and I need to take effective recovery. So today I'm just gonna be going for a nice, a nice walk with the family again and I'm going to be doing some upper body resistance training. So it's kind of an active recovery day. I'm going to be working my upper body, but leaving my legs completely rested, going for a walk to get some blood flow into them. Uh, and that's about it. I'll probably, I should be doing some five times one Ks again tomorrow for day seven. See you then guys. So just to do something a little different today, I thought I'd show me home workout just to showcase how you can manage to hit all the different muscles in the upper body with a variety of different equipment that I use. Just to give you a little bit of inspiration or some ideas for your own home workout. For all the exercises shown, I do three sets of 10 to 12 reps. If you've got any questions about any of these exercises or any of the equipment I used or what muscles I'm working, let us know in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. That looks like good exercise. Yeah, it actually makes your legs a lot. Maybe you should try it, Dad. <laughs> no, thank you. You're climbing the mountain. Cross your legs. Hey! <laughs> 